Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild. It is the season finale. There is two games remaining in the season. One of those is against Hamburg coming up next, who are in 13th. And then the final game of the season, seasons against Bayer Leverkusen, who uh, are pretty much in the running here. We need to finish second. We want to qualify for Champions League next season. That is for sure. Wolfsburg have wrapped up uh, the league by the looks of the things. Uh, that is for sure. But uh, it is neck and neck here for a Champions League spot. So we need to win both of our games and uh, wrap this season up and uh, really, really make that push for a Champions League spot. So let's just get straight into this and uh, a big bumper episode coming up for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this. All right, second last game of the season. We go to the Volkspark Stadium to take on Hamburg and uh, a big game here for Bayern Munich. We need to secure that second position finish. We want to play Champions League next season. The first team will be running out here today. Toure up front. And the usual suspects out on the pitch. So we're sitting in second, and it's only that one point buffer on Bayer Leverkusen. Borussia Dortmund on 57 points, only two points behind us as well. We need a big effort from the lads. Pichler needs to be on point. We need to save City. We need a clean sheet. We need a win. We need three points here, that is for sure. And we do have the best away record. So let's get straight into the action and uh, see if we can take three points. Great work from Mayadomo. Here we go. Slips it forward. Sam Parisi on the attack. Sam Parisi. Oh, what a save. Mayadomo gets the touch on it, but they clear it away. Oh, good challenge from Toussaint. And here's Lolo now. Slips one forward. He's got Toure on a bit of a run. Here he is. Abdulhak Toure holds up the play nicely. Does well, Toure. Can he get a pass off? He's looking for someone. Slips it inside, but Lola was in the wrong area. But it found Strafler. He was offside. He finished it clinically, the skipper, but he's been pinged to be offside. And it's still new Lola after 20 minutes. Oh, Tussar gets done inside out. Here's the shot. Pischler with the save. And another corner for Hamburg. They've definitely looked the more aggressive side so far in this game. They've got the corner now. We will have to defend here. Here it comes into the box. Where's Pischler? Misses it completely. No one going near it, and then Pischler somehow picks it up. Oh, he slips through Tussar once again. That's a few frustrating tackles there for Tussar, but Martinez does well. Ushers him over the line. And another corner now for Hamburg. 38 minutes gone, and we're really yet to make a decent attack on goal. Here comes the ball inside. Pischler with a punch. Takes the game on, the skipper. He does well, uses his strength and his pace. Cuts around nicely. It's still the skipper and Strifler. He's done well. Oh, picked off by Sakai. And at half time, it is nil all. Well, failing to get a lot of opportunities here is Bayern Munich. We'll have to do a lot more in the second half. Mandomo, good step over, does well, takes a pinger. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, here comes Hamburg inside. Pischler with the save, does well. What have you done there, Beckman? Clear it out. And Stevens put his body on the line. And Hamburg with another corner. Great work from Taylor. That's what we wanted. And he slips this one long. Wants Finnegan, who's just come on. It's Finnegan with pace. Oh, ref. Fucking taken down. And that's a penalty. Well, Finners has earned us the penalty. Juru wasn't happy with the pace. Finnegan took off. And just inside the box, yellow card comes out. And we have an opportunity to go here from the spot. We've been outplayed, that is for sure. Uh, definitely getting the opportunity here. And uh, a poor challenge. And Finnegan earns us the penalty, and it's going to be Strafler from the spot. Come on, Strafler. The skipper. Yes, get in, lads. Strafler does it. It's 1 0 by Munich. Probably undeserving. Well, we've defended well. Pischler has been on point. And we get one from the spot. It's the skipper, Strafler, getting his fourth or fifth goal for the season. And we have a 1 0 lead now with only a few minutes remaining. We can sit back and defend and don't worry about the final game against Bayer Leverkusen. We've done what we needed to do here. Get the win. Let's sit back now. There's Luciano Dessar. Can he create something here? The young lad. 
Sees a run out wide. It's Strifler, the skipper. He's done well there. Slips one through. Can Finnegan get on the end of us? He can. Finnegan! Oh, what a save from the keeper. Deny Finnegan the goal. And they clear it away. Um, it doesn't matter. We did what we needed to do. We got the penalty. And that might have been one of our only shots on goal, but we take the three points. So eight shots to five. We were definitely outplayed. Strifler with a 6.9. And we take the three points. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, at the World Stadium to take on Bayer Leverkusen in the final game of the season. And it all rests on this match. We have to win this one to finish second. And I'm pretty sure Bayer Leverkusen lost, but I think Borussia Dortmund are knocking on the door here. So it's a must-win match for Bayer, Bayer Munich. And uh, let's have a look here. We're second. Bayer Leverkusen have dropped to fourth. But Borussia Dortmund are up there as well. If they win and we lose, they could jump over us. So uh, we're sending the same team out once again. Really need to win this one. Let's get it done and finish it second. Come on, lads. Good work from Strifler and he takes off. He's got Sam Parisi in support. Feeds it off. Sam Parisi inside. Here's Toure. Goes back out. Here's Lolo. Lolo turns on it. Lolo shoots. A good save from Leno. Sam Parisi's there. Tried to knock it in. And the most acute of angles. And it was a save, and we've got the corner now, and it's Strifler to deliver in. Whips it in the box, Fleming is wide. Half time, and it's nil all, and a lot of work to do here for Bayern Munich if we want to secure a second spot. Oh, fuck off, man! You fucking wanker! Just every single deflection went to fucking Bayer Leverkusen then. Didn't matter what we did. Just seemed to fall in their fucking hot pocket. And he smashes it past Pichler, makes it 1 0. And we are playing like a side that does not even belong in the fucking Bundesliga at the moment. It's 1 0 to Bayer Leverkusen here in the second half. And is that a story? As Kiyotake hits his sixth goal. There's Maidomo. Slips it out wide. Strifler. Brings it on to Fleming. There's Fleming now. Works his way inside. Takes the shot. Oh! Fleming! Fucking let me make a challenge, you wankers. Oh, fuck off, ref. Score is now 2 0. Good work from Strifler. Come on, son. Come on, Strifler. Cuts inside nicely. It's Strifler. Get in there! What all? Fucking what a captain's goal that is from Strifler. Works his way through traffic nicely. Does his defender inside out. Smashes it home. What all? We're back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. A great finish from the captain. That's what you needed. That's why he has the armband standing up in a crisis situation. And Strifler puts it home. And it is one all on the day. And we really need to get another one on the board. His sixth goal for the season. It's Wendell. He's got too much pace. Here it is in the box. Pischler makes a good punch. Strifler gets the touch on. And it's Hansen now. We know he's got pace. Come on, Hansen. Take on the game. How is this man keeping up with him? He does well, though, Hansen. Holding onto the ball. Fires it across. He's got Lolo. He slips it forward. It's Toure. The hack attack. Oh, fuck me. There's Toussaint. Making the push forward, slips it off. Chang Min Lee's just come on. Pressure situation, does well, feeds it off. Lolo fucks it up completely. There's Chang Min Lee again. He feeds it off to Mayor Domo. He takes it out wide. He's got Taylor, can he get there? Yes, he can. It's Taylor, he whips it in the box. Who's there? Oh, Toure's been smoked in the box. And it's a throw in. Oh no. Slips it off, here's the shot. Pistol with the save. Cracking save from Pischler. One point might be enough for us. I'm not too sure, but here is a corner. Deep into the box. Pischler makes the save. It's come out to Wendell. Martinez flicked on, and there it is. Full time. A one-all draw. I'm not sure where we finished. So we got thoroughly outplayed there. Strifler with an 8.1, but we did not deserve a point there, to be fair. Right, Dirk Fire wants out of the Youth Academy, and we picked up 12.6 million for uh, the Bundesliga. All right, Dirk Thayer, 50 overall, 77 to 94 goalkeeper. 
Uh, he doesn't have the reactions that we really wanted, but uh, we do need a backup goalkeeper. We've got three spots available, and I actually am going to give one to Dirk Thai. Youth player wants out in Alexandre Morales. All right, Alexander Morales is a right back. 55 overall, 84 to 94, physically strong, 18 years of age. We're going to offer him a contract as well. And the other man we are going to offer a contract to, our final spot is Bubakar Dele, 92 to 94 attacker, 62 overall at 18 years of age. I don't want to miss out on him. Right, the final U Squad monthly report, and uh, let's have a look at the kids that won't be available for us until we sell some players. Kimona, 76 to 90. Patterson, 67 to 87. Connor Boylan is 66 overall, 88 to 94. Uh, McCaddy, 71 to 93. Gelpaz, 80 to 94. Foreignback is an 80 to 94. Goalkeeper, Montenegro, 80 to 90. Moreno, 74 to 88. And Timbos, 74 to 92. Well, monthly scouting update from Nigeria. We've got Bubakar Menza, 68 to 94. We're going to continue to scout him. Sadami can go. Uh, Musa Zikwi, 70 to 94. We'll continue to scout him as we will with Ohon Dele. All right, Austria is an 85 to reject. 67 to 93 in Tershineg. We will continue to scout as we will with Bart Bum Gartlinger and uh, Ozcan can go. And Japan brings us back Ryusaki, 66 to 90 goalkeeper. Hishida is a 73 to 94. We'll continue to scout. Kawashi can go. Kita can go. Mazaki can go. And Matsuru can go. All right, let's do a really in-depth squad report. Now, what I need you to do is pay attention closely to the players, especially the younger lads, and let me know in the comments any player that you think needs to leave the club who's not going to really, really be within this team in the next season or two um, because next season will probably be the final season if we have qualified for Champions League. So uh, I need to know who needs to leave the club because we're going to obviously have to free up some spots to try and bring in some of that hot talent that's probably lying out there uh, in the nether realms of the uh, the leagues. So uh, really take note and uh, let me know in the comments down below on players that you'd like to see leave the club um, on loan or just get rid of them or uh, guys that you want to see playing in the first team so, or, or the reserves team, I guess. So let's get through this. Pischler, 85. He's gone up six. Uh, 69 reactions. And uh, we've been training him pretty extensively. Tusa has the potential to be special. 74. He's gone up three. He's growing across the board nicely. Uh, his pace is starting to lift, which is good. Geronimo Martinez showing great potential. 76 gone up two. Did score two wonder goals this season. Um, hasn't really grown a lot other than in technical. So uh, let me know also in the comments below who you'd like to see start getting a little bit of training. And maybe I can uh, manipulate the training sessions into start building some of these players up as well. Gohan Beckman, 79, gone up 60. He's definitely been getting a bit of training, showing great potential. His physicals have stalled, obviously, with the excess of training, but uh, he's turning into a world-class defender at 21 years of age. Sammy Stevens has the potential to be special. 81, gone up three. Uh, we hasn't really trained him this year, but his, his physicals are amazing. Mayadomo, 75, gone up two. Doesn't have a rating, but he has hit 22. Did get injured, has lost some physicals. He feels threatened. Uh, so let me know if you think he should be our first team CDM or uh, maybe someone else coming through. Lolo is an exciting prospect. Three goals for the season. He's a little bit quiet this year. 77 gone up three, but he's still growing in physicals. He's getting even quicker, which is just amazing. So uh, I've got a feeling he could really turn it on. He hasn't really... I don't even think he's got any training this year. Liam Fleming, 75 gone up two. We've only really just picked him up, uh, but he is growing slowly, which is nice. Adriano Strafler, the skipper, 77, gone up four, has the potential to be special, and he is growing nicely. Massimo Samprisi, 81, gone up four. Uh, he's probably stopped his physical growth now. He might get a few more points if we're lucky, but uh, 81 is decent. He's controlling that midfield nicely. Abdulhak Ture has had a lot of training this season. 77, gone up seven. His physicals have stopped. That's why I started training the absolute crap out of him uh, to get those technicals up. He can still finish, but he was probably a little bit quieter this season than we would have liked, and uh, he may start finding himself in and out of the first team, depending on how well he's finishing. But 18 goals uh, was probably our leading goal scorer anyway for the season. Ertl Hansen, well, we've only just picked him up. He's 74, gone up one. Hasn't got any training as yet, but he is growing magnificently in his physical stats, so uh, he'll come along nicely in the next season, I feel. Luciano De Sa has been in some average form, but got five goals early on. 70, he's gone up four. Uh, hasn't grown in any physicals. Nico Klunter, 73, gone up four. Had an amazing standout game there with his hat-trick, but other than that, he's done fuck all. Uh, but he has grown nicely. Lee Finnegan, 75, gone up four. Has received a little bit of training and uh, isn't growing in physicals. 
Jason Taylor, 74, gone up three. And, uh, you know, he does a serviceable role. He's pinpoint passing. That is for sure. Um, but, yeah, not growing in physicals, unfortunately. Cheng Min Lee, 70. He's gone up five. We gave him a little bit of training, but he is growing still, so that's nice. Uh, Alex Amini, 74, gone up three. Didn't really get a lot of game time, uh, but he is growing as well, definitely in the physicals, which is good. Cameron McGregor, an exciting prospect. 64, gone up two. Didn't get any games this year, but uh, not growing in physicals either, which may be a bit of a concern, so let me know about him. Pedro Alvarez, 60, gone up one. He's an exciting prospect. Didn't get any game time. Didn't grow in physicals just yet. Uh, so may need a loan spell at 17. Kwai and Jermaine, 66, went up five. He got the one game. And he's got some pretty good physicals there. Um, how tall is he? Six foot three from Cameroon. So, uh, yeah, a good young lad coming through there. Dirk Thai, we've just signed up the goalkeeper. He's already gone up one. Uh, we need those reactions to grow. So I'm not actually going to touch him with any training whatsoever and see how he goes. Joshua Afrani, 68, gone up three. Has the potential to be special. He's a right back. He didn't get a gig at the moment. Uh, obviously, with Toussaint and the likes floating around. Maybe he needs a loan spell. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, Bro Tony, 74, gone up four. Has the potential to be special. He is growing as well at only 19 years of age. But he's been hit and miss, so he may need a loan spell. I like to keep the potential to be special players floating around the club. Justin Meredith, 74, gone up five. Potential to be special, playing in the reserves. Uh, picked up a couple of assists. He's content, but uh, he probably, you know, it's pretty hard coming in behind Sammy Stevens. Hong Kui Song, 71, gone up four. He's unhappy not getting any game time. And uh, we may need to move him on. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. Rafael Makiewicz, 65, gone up four. I have loan listed him, but he's not growing in physicals. May need to be sold. Uh, Christian Christensen, 58, gone up four. I have transfer listed him. Great name, but uh, yeah, we've got a lot of better players and we need the spots. Vincent Lovato, 57, gone up one. Amazing physical stats. Let me know what we should be doing with this lad. Does he need a loan spell? Um, Mustafa El Fayumi, 63, gone up four. He's got amazing physicals, but we do have a lot of center backs. And at 19 years of age, maybe he'll be better off going out, keeping an eye on him, and uh, getting that glitch, and then uh, maybe buying him back in the summer or something. I'm not too sure. Let me know. Rui Thiago Gregorio Guzo hasn't got a lot of game time. Well, 20 odd matches, 72, gone up two. Maybe time for him to move on. And Omilson Junior Bolongoli, he's been with us since the start. 70 gone up too, but uh, maybe fading away already at 21 years of age. Waldemar Jopek, 64 gone up three. I've transfer listed him because he's doing nothing. Dewey Tian, 73 gone up two. Has the potential to be special, but not growing in physicals, unfortunately. So uh, might be worth moving him on, not too sure. Let me know. Alexander Rize, 65 gone up one. Uh, probably ready to move on. Mate Buzan is 71, gone up five. Has the potential to be special. Looks like an amazing centre-back for the future. Um, we can put some heavy training into his technical abilities and get him right up. Those physicals are, are just unbelievable. So maybe worth letting him just grow naturally. I'm not too sure. Let me know. Jeremy Jackson, 62, gone up three. Hasn't grown in physicals. He is transfer listed. Ryan Pepper, 70, gone up four. Is ready to leave the club. Alexander Scaramazzino is also ready to go, I believe. Victor Soriano, 63, gone up four. I have loan listed him at only 17 years of age. He is growing, so maybe worth a loan spell. Morales, we've just signed up. 55 overall, right back. He does have a high potential. He's got some decent physicals, so we'll keep an eye on him. Uh, Michael Nair, 69, gone up three. I have loan listed him at the moment because his physicals haven't grown, but it may be worth uh, selling him off. We do have a lot of center backs. Bubikar Dele, 62 overall, has the potential to be special. Um, we've just signed him up. He's already growing in physicals, which is amazing. So let me know what we should do with him. Uh, El Shirani, out on loan at Borussia Dortmund. Didn't get a gig. 63, gone up five, but no physical growth. Chris Ashcross, 61, gone up two at Kilmanock. Didn't, oh, didn't grow at all either. Hal Gal, 74, gone up three. Didn't grow in physicals. Kevin Keogh, 67, gone up four. Didn't grow in physicals. Wojcik Wojvoviak, 66, gone up three, didn't grow in physicals. Michelle Elhamad, 70, gone up five. Wow, look at this kid. 70, gone up five. That's insane. Out on loan and didn't get a gig, but grew five. That's nice. Christopher Apriasio, 66, gone up four, didn't grow in physicals. Uh, Julian Farfan, 64, gone up four. Has nice physicals. Patrice McKendry, 64, gone up three, didn't grow in physicals. 
And that is the full squad. So let me know in depth in the comments sections. You can list players. Let me know what you want me to do with them. I'll assess that before recording the next episode. That is for sure. So get those comments in. Right, let's have a look at some of the stats for the season. And Cruiser took the golden boot with 17 goals. Our top scorer was Toure in the Bundesliga. He only scored nine. He was injured for a fair amount of the season. And no one else really getting on the board. And that is probably our problem this season. Assist-wise... Well, we weren't scoring that many, so uh, let's have a look here. And it's Lolo with four, Sam Parisi with four. Uh, clean sheets. Pischler does take the golden glove, and that's probably what kept us so competitive. Uh, yellow cards-wise, uh, I'm not too sure if we got any of those. And red cards, well, I'm not sure we got any of those either. We're pretty safe with our play. So the Dusha Pakel, Wolfsburg took 2-1 against Cologne. Uh, Real Madrid took the Champions League victory over Barcelona 2-1. Uh, you can see the sides that were involved there, and we were definitely not one of them. So Valencia took the EuroLeague on penalties over Liverpool. Uh, that's pretty good for Valencia. And in the Bundesliga, we managed to finish second. The goal difference was what saved us there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that gives us a qualification into the Champions League for next season, and that's what we wanted. So uh, all in all, a pretty decent season for Bayern Munich. Moving into, I'm going to say, the final season. Uh, because obviously Champions League, we're going to make a run. We're going to try and win the Champions League final. If we get knocked out, well, that's it. Uh, we need to wrap this up already for FIFA 17. And uh, I've got a few other things I want to do with some of the older series. Maybe do some simulations and uh, give you a look at some of how the teams have progressed uh, just on simulation. So I need to get through this season. Uh, obviously, Flip Fever has finished. Uh, we've got the Until Dawn playthrough going on. If you're that way inclined and feel like getting the shit scared out of you, you can watch that one. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to try my best to bring out Bayern Munich four days a week now. So um, the Sunday slot should be a Bayern series uh, for the foreseeable future until we wrap this series up. If I can even get time, I may do some double uploads just to get through the next season. Uh, but that's where we're going to leave it today. Thanks very much. Make sure you leave comments on players. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one. Oh, yeah. It's really smart to go outside, you stupid idiot. What's going on? Where's my sister going? Whoa, you managed to get a purple jacket on pretty quickly. It was just a...